Hello and welcome to my channel, Kuromos here. Today I am bringing you a Pyromancer Wizard, an evocation wizard specialized in incinerating enemies with fire spells. We will be mainly a wizard using intelligence as our main stat for casting spells. Wizard offers a wide selection of spells compared to a sorcerer, so the flexibility is always welcome. Early in the game we get access to Burning Hands, Chromatic Orb and Scorching Ray. This can do fantastic area of effect damage or target multiple enemies that are spread out. Cast these on surfaces with wine or grease to deal some extra damage and cause burning, a debuff that will deal 1d4 fire damage. At level 5 we get access to Fireball, a classic of the wizard class. We can cast all these spells without fear of hitting our allies thanks to Sculpt spells. Allies automatically pass any saving throw that is needed, so they will not get hurt. Later on we will get Wall of Fire, which can deal great sustained damage over several turns. However, our concentration is not great with this build, so expect to be interrupted often. Finally, Fire Shield is great to deal fire retaliation damage each time we get hit in melee. After the step-by-step -step guide, you can see some combat footage plus the items and spells that I use. If you're new to the channel, kindly read the description of this video, since I explain my thought process and some consideration while making these guides. Without more delay, let's begin. We will start our journey as a wizard. For the cantrips, I think at least Firebolt is mandatory. The other spells you can see which are my preferences, however at this point please select Mage Armor because it is a very important spell early game and I've missed it. For the ability points I recommend Intelligence and then you can either go Constitution 16 and Dexterity 14 or vice versa. At Wizard level 2 we will get the passive Sculpt Spells. This is a special from the Evocation subclass and it will let us cast our area of effect spells without hitting our allies. They will automatically pass any saving throw. We select a couple more of spells that we'll get into our known list and then we proceed into the next level. At wizard level 3 we will get access to second level spells. Here we can get Scorching Ray which is going to be thematic for our build since we're going to focus mostly on fire spells. The second one is going to be Misty Step since it will give us utility to move around the battlefield. On our next level we will get our first feat. We get to choose a cantrip and a couple spells. We go for Shatter since it is an evocation spell and deals excellent area of effect damage and it's Thunder. For our first feat we will go for Ability Improvement Intelligence. This will boost our attack rolls with spells so it is very important to get this early on. At Wizard level 5 we will get one of our signature spells. Fireball. Our second choice will be Counterspell. This is an excellent choice because it will trigger as a reaction, cancelling the spell from the opponents that we decide. At level 6 we get a passive called Potent Cantrip. This means that when we cast a cantrip and the opponent succeeds on the saving throw, they will only take half damage instead of no damage. At this level I go for Glyph of Warding, since it can be fire damage if we choose so, and Sleet Storm. I pick this mostly to interrupt concentration on enemy casters, which can be vital at times. At level 7 we get access to the last fire based spell, this is going to be Wall of Fire. This requires concentration, so it's not going to be very reliable with this build, but it is good to have in any case. Our second spell is going to be Fire Shield. This will deal fire damage to enemies that attack and hit us in melee. At level 8 we get access to our second and last feat. For our spells we can go with Conjure Minor Elemental since it can summon a fire elemental and we can go with Great Invisibility as well as a defensive option. As for the feat you can go for Ability Improvement Intelligence or Elemental Adept Fire. This is going to help with damage, since it's going to avoid that we roll a 1, and it will also avoid enemies resisting our spells. 
Now, once we have reached this point, there are two options. The first one is to continue as a wizard and finish as a wizard 12. This will give you full access to level 6 spells, plus a third feat. In my case, I decide to go for a 2 level deep in fighter. This is going to give us access to medium armor, shields, the defensive fighting style, which will also give us additional armor class, and action search. This is great because it can give you that extra spell when you need it once per short rest, without the drawback of having haste. Once we have our two levels in fighter, we just continue leveling as a wizard and we get access to level 5 spells. Besides Conjure Elemental, there are no more fire spells available at this level, so you can use those level 5 spell slots for upcasting the previous spells. And at this point we will get Empowered Evocation. This is extremely strong as it will add our intelligence modifier to the damage of our spells. However, this will add up for each projectile. It means if we're using Magic Missile or Scorching Ray, it's going to add individually for each ray. There are certain combination of items where you can really do extreme damage with Scorching Ray or Magic Missile, but this is not going to be the focus on this build. Here you can see which items I have used for the combat showcase. Mostly I'm interested into stacking spell DC, since this is going to increase your chance to hit enemies. You can see also the spells that I have chosen during the level up process. However, consider that since we are wizard, you can take any scroll and learn it by spending gold. So you should have a much wider spell book at this point and you can use certain spells if need be. Also, if you are a beginner and you are struggling to choose a caster class, I would definitely recommend the wizard because you can learn a lot of spells, you can test them out and as long as you are not in a combat, you can always go back to your spell book and change the spells that you have ready. Now, for the first combat I was trying the fire elemental, but it just makes the combat way too easy. So for the second one I will not have the elemental. One thing to keep in mind is since we have the two fighter levels, having access to shield and medium armor will make us very durable. On top of that we will have the level 1 spell shield as a reaction, so we are going to always have a very decent armor class. Keep in mind the enemies will mostly focus the casters because they have less hit points and armor class. So you should be kind of safe with this setup. In case you wonder why I cast Misty Step right away, it's because this particular enemy will always counter spell the first spell you cast. So in order to defeat him I have to like bait him.
As usual, I hope you enjoyed the build. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next guide. Adios.